everyone, I'm Fatal Wizard. We're here with another MCSC episode today. We're on Holiday Resort, and as you can tell, I'm using shaders once again. Uh, because I don't know, a lot of you guys, and by that I mean like half the comments section pretty much said, I love shaders, keep on using it. Heck, um, one of you guys even said, <laughs> use it for the rest of your SG series, which is not something I want to do, uh, sadly, because one, it kind of gives me choppy frames. Even though I'm getting smooth frames right now, uh, whenever I'm going to PvP, you'll kind of notice it goes a little bit, um, slower and I don't know as an SG channel or an SG most or mostly SG channel I don't know it just doesn't seem really like a good idea although I will give you one thing though it's really beautiful especially this uh, shader pack right here uh, in case you're wondering this is Chocopix shaders um, I'll leave the link in the description because so many people asked for it last video it was pretty surprising uh, it's not Rudo plays and it's not <laughs> Sonic either's and I don't know it's just kind of a simple but still a really nice looking shader pack and it's not overdone either and it's not too bright or too vibrant either so it's pretty cool in fact uh, right now uh, some somebody suggested Rudo plays uh, last video but I mean it's cool it, like it's very vibrant but I don't know it's just kind of overdone in my opinion like look at the sun like that whole pink thing looks a little bit weird to me and I don't know it's just not my style and then Zeus is Zeus is pretty cool, but it's just kind of too realistic for me. This is like in the middle of uh, vibrant and realistic, which is something I love about it. So yeah, if I ever do keep on doing shader pack videos or shader shader SG videos, um, I'll be using this resource pack. And once again, it's in the description if you want it. Now onto the real topic of this video. Um, MCSG is having another update, which is going to take place next week. Uh, not too long ago, actually, um, MCSG bought the Anthem Network. Some people say this is a stupid idea. I know that seems pretty stupid. Um, but I, I gotta say, I've never ever played on the Ant Venom server. Never in my whole life. I've watched videos on it from Ant Venom, and I gotta say, the mini games there look pretty awesome. Now, there's one big question that a lot of people have in their mind: like, does this is, is this really gonna fit into MCSG? Will people actually like playing Ant Venom mini games on MCSG? Uh, but that's not the main question I wanted to talk about. But, I don't know, if I, if I were you guys, I'd play on those minigames, uh, because I, I saw some videos on them, they're all pretty cool, especially since Ant Venom is kind of a redstone guy, sort of, and he makes pretty awesome minigames, you guys should go see them, um, one day. And, you know, even though the main thing that people come to MCSG for is survival games, uh, I think it'd still be kind of cool to have, you know, those extra minigames there for people that want some variety, um, so once again, it's going to take place next week. It hasn't, like, you can still go on the Anvenom server and play on the minigames there, but it hasn't been implemented to MCSG, so you can't play it on MCSG until next week, of course. Uh, but there was something brought up in um, in Creeper Farts' video, and by the way, i got to thank Shake John MC for this. He was the one that actually told me about this. Uh, in his video, he, he was apparently talking to Chad the DJ, uh, which is, by the way, the owner of MCSG, and... They said that they were thinking on uh, doing a global stat reset. Now, at first, when I heard this, I was like, no, this is not happening. I do not my one, I did not want my 1k wins to just go away, but um, it's kind of an interesting thing, though. Like, sure, I, I do have 1,226, I believe, wins, or 66. And not going to lie, it's going to be kind of hard to, like, just get rid of those and start from nothing. Uh, but at the same time, th there's advantages for it. It has, in its, in its own ways, it's also kind of a good idea, in my opinion. Now, I don't really have a solid opinion on this. Like, uh, there's a straw poll down below. I'm gonna leave a link to it. And basically, what it is is just a uh, just asking, would you like um, global stats reset? And you see, the thing here <laughs> is, uh, there's two different sides here. Uh, one is the competitive part of MCSG, where they already have like. Actually, I think there's three sides to this, to be honest. So, one, one obviously, is the competitive side of MCSG. The people that have, like, um, 800 wins plus, I would say. Um, you know, th obviously, if you were part of this group, like I am, you may be against this. And even if you have less than 800 wins, you probably still might be against this. Simply because you may have worked pretty hard on your stats and you just don't want to let them go. Um, then the other side is people that are actually trying to. Oh crap! Oh, that guy. I don't know if he was teaming because he was a fan or something. Oh crap! That that sucks. Oh well. <laughs> um, but that's one side. Then there's the semi-competitive side, which 
um, are currently trying to get to the uh, to the 1K range of wins. And to be honest, if I were part of this group, it would. I think this is like. If you're currently trying to get to 1k wins, and you're tryharding like 24-7, and then they just uh, reset the whole uh, the stats of every single person on MCSG, I'd be pretty mad. I'd be pretty mad, because, you know, they're telling us one week in advance. And so far, it looks like most people um, have voted for, yes, I do want the stats to be reset. Um, I don't know. This is gonna, it's going to be kind of hard, because I don't know if this is necessarily the official Stropple. Uh, but once again, the Stropple's going to be down below. Uh, I found it on Creeper Farts' video. And I'm not sure if it's going to be an official Stropple. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, you can do slash pull. Hold on, hold on. Alright, alright, alright. I need to re I, I just figured this out in the recording. Hold on. Assuming your old aesthetics will be saved on the separate Legacy Leaderboards page. Would you like... Alright, oh, uh, this is actually useful information because... I guess, I guess th this means, like... Your your stats are gonna be re uh, saved in another leaderboard, but you're gonna have new stats as well. Um, here's the thing though. All right, I'm kind of confused about this because uh, if they're gonna be saved to another leaderboard, um, will you still be able to get wins on that leaderboard? It's kind of confusing. Um, but that's actually good news because I was about to finish off the topic there, kind of. But all right, now that we know this information, I guess I guess it's I don't know, I guess there is a few more advantages to it. Like, um, if it were to be, like, uh, you, you, uh, save, you have, like, two stats, actually, that'd be pretty interesting, having two different statistics. Um, I don't know if I'd want that, though, two different statistics, like, one where I have 1,000 wins and one where I start fresh again. That would actually be pretty awesome, not gonna lie, I would be in for that. I, I definitely would be. Um, but if I... If I had my stats on another leaderboard, but I still couldn't improve them, then honestly, I don't know. I I, I still wouldn't know what to choose from. Um, but continuing on with the topic, though, obviously there's some like YouTubers that don't play MCSG too much. There, there's a few YouTubers out there who just you know play MCSG uh, just to record it, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Um, sometimes people don't like playing MCSG casually, and they just do it to record because they have fun recording on it, but not necessarily you know playing casually, and um, I guess for them, you know, since they don't really care about stats, they kind of want to maybe start to be a little bit more competitive. I would understand if you're that kind of person who hasn't really been competitive on MCSG, but wants to start to be competitive, but has a terrible ratio. Um, you know, then it would be awesome to have a stats reset. Uh, but once again, you really can't please every single side of this, um, which is why I'm still debating on what to choose from. Um, I, I really don't know if I want to, to be honest, but in a way, I, I guess you could say it, it would be kind of fun, kind of fun to have your stats reset, and know, like, you still have a record that you reached 1k wins, uh, but at the same time, you can also kind of start fresh, uh, maybe be a little bit more competitive, and just overall start getting into the MCS, uh, the competitive MCSG grind, because I have not been playing MCSG competitively at all recently. Uh, mostly it's just to record or to play with friends, but I, I don't know if the stats do get reset I gotta tell you I would probably be tryharding MCSG quite a bit. Hmm I'm, This is actually kind of fun to comment about because I'm like Having different opinions as I'm recording this, but anyway, um I'm gonna leave this straw poll down below. Sorry if I missed any information here. I probably did, to be honest, because I didn't watch the whole video on Creeper Farts. Uh, but yeah, do slash poll. You'll see, you'll see the poll right here. I guess you can do slash poll, vote one, or slash PV, whatever. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still need to think about this a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, tell me your guys' opinion down below. I really kind of would like to see what you guys think. Um, most of the people on Twitter I see right now are are saying, no, it's a terrible idea, but, I don't know, man, I really think it has its advantages, and its disadvantages, but, you know, the real question here, I guess, is whether or not it brings more of an advantage than a disadvantage, and, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, just, once again, tell me your opinions down below on, on what you think should happen, um, and, go on MCSG to do slash poll vote, and then, you know, whatever, uh, but, oh, if we can kill this guy, we, actually, no, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm about to die right here, Alright, I don't care, to be honest. Um, but... Ooh! Have a heart! Crap. <laughs> um... Alright. 
Yeah, this guy talks in Spanish. He, he I, I'm pretty sure he's a fan of mine. But uh, I've, seen, I've been seeing a lot more fans, which is pretty cool. But I don't know if I should kill him. Should I kill him? Hmm, I really don't know. I I'll just go for it. He's probably going to kill me anyway, but I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, his Flint Steel is too pro. <laughs> See, this is another reason why I should probably get into MCSU competitively now. Oh my god, look how many spectators there are. That, that is amazing. That, that is truly amazing how much growth I've had. <laughs> um, anyway, that was it for this topic. As you can see, there was quite a few moments where I was kind of silent. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a really interesting thing. I, I really need to come up with a final decision on this for myself. But yeah, once again, go vote for yourself on uh, what you think it should be. And until then, I'm a fan of the